Hey everyone, welcome back to my Britannian campaign. We're finally back here. To let you know, I have heard of Three Kingdoms and I'm rather excited about it. I did talk about it in my orc video and I made a post about it on my community page. Oh, brief reminder too, come join my community down below my Discord link. We are partnered. We have a custom little URL for it now that I'll begin to use and all of that good stuff. And again, let's get started. Marquis Emmerich de Montfort. Let's go look at where you need to go right now. We're fighting a savage war. I mean, really, still faith overhaul, which I am very thankful for, has allowed me to engage in real wars. I'm not able to steamroll right through here. How many times have you watched me play, if you have watched me play, steamroll right through an entire faction? Here, I have to take my time. I have to be really careful. I've lost a lot of good men. A lot of good men. It's tragic. Okay, chill, Freud. What am I going to give you now? You could use some horsemen, evidently. You don't have a lot of infantry to hold the line, though. That's kind of an issue, isn't it? You need sturdy things. Questing knights. Aha. But you don't have the actual ability to make them cheap. Fagan's Crusaders could do it. We'll do that. Four more turns for him. Over here for you, you've got room for one more. Was I going to give you one more paladin, or? Hmm. Good question. I'm going to give you spare men at arms. There we go. And over here we have Duke Bohemond going after Tor Korali. Kind of reminds me of a name from Dune, which I've been reading. Yeah, I got a Kindle Voyager because I usually read at night and I don't like having blue light on because it prevents me from being able to go to sleep and that's just kind of a physiological response that we all have. So I bought that, paying it off over a few months or whatever. I don't like to usually buy things. I try not to, but I did that. And it's been great. It's been, because years back, before I lost my first Kindle from years ago. I read so much, dude. I read so many books in a short amount of time. It's just really about the time that I have to read, usually because I'm on my desktop quite a bit doing what, what I'm doing now, right? My eyes get really, really tired and strained, so I try to take a break from that. But it's paper white, very easy to read, like it a lot. Kindle Voyager, if any of you are curious about it. All right, you can hold it with like one hand, it's pretty light, which I definitely do like because I hold it up and, you know, even if the thing's not that heavy, it can kind of wear you down a little bit over time. All right, let's get some guides over here. Let's get over here too. Yeah, I know I'm talking about inane things at the moment, but that's me. Inane Matt. Inane Surreal. The strange oddity of the YouTuber genre. <laughs> We're a genre now? Do you? Ah, yeah, we are, huh? In a weird way. Okay, so all of you come over here. Here's my damsel, Madeline Dubois. Love that lady. Who doesn't? Who couldn't? She kills everyone. Oh, that might be why. If I can name her after a Dune character, probably Jessica. Love me some Jessica. Anyway, let's get going now. Come in. We fly into combat. We kill. Let's go after that noble. You'll go after that mage of life named Skilled. And the rest of you will come over here. Very good. Madeline Dubois, come over here. Very good. Let's go. Oh, Jizz Revenge. Come over here. Go after the Lizard Sea Guard. And over here, after, well, more of them. Here we go now. We're landing. We're getting straight into combat. Our war continues as we kill more high elves. You think you're, you think you're better than us, don't you? Well, you're not. The lady's better than all. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely better than all. Look at that. We're already beating them. What chance do you have? And now we clash again into combat, crushing them. Imagine the weight of these creatures impacting your formation. How many men would go flying? That many men would go flying. Hippogriffs everywhere. There's been a new Still Faith Overhaul update. I'm really glad to see that team doing quite well. They deserve everything. I talk about them quite a bit because I've always been a huge fan of modders. Back in the day when I played only Medieval 2 for a long time, you guys know how much that I loved mods. I would always play mods and pretty much only mods. So for me to have finally find a new mod and a new mod team that kind of like matches with my own sensibilities, I am rather happy about it. Absolutely. Right, let's go over here and do our stuff. I can use more magic if I want to, but nope, not going to do that. Madeline will wait down below. Warden's still fighting. Come over here. Let's go after these spearmen. If they want to fight, let them. Go get him, Duke. Come on, Dukey. You got it. Good work. And the men fall again. You are no match for me. No, I'm going to heal them up. There you go. 
Build them up. Let them get all batched up. They're gonna like that, I'm sure. Is that hill done? Should be. Yeah. Oh, are they capped out? Well, oh, crap. I didn't see the little line. Well, my bad. Very well. Let's go look over here and kill more of them. Let me go look at my other units. Ah, here we go. They need some more healing, too. Let's go ahead and heal them. I'm trying to clear out the wall so we can not be hit by things that are poking me. Now, come over here. Thank you, my dear lady. You keep doing what you need to do. Are those sword masters? Where are they? Are, are they up here already? They might be. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they indeed are. All right, let's go. Get out. All of you, get out. Let's go real quick. They've got artillery back here. I could go after them right now. I might avoid it. Have you killed a lot? Not really. You can't even really damage me. Let's go to the sword masters. Warden, go. We can debuff him too. We'll do that. We'll debuff him. And then... I thought I need to go, man. Go. Come over here now. Let's go over here and kill off more of them. And over here too. We can charge in everywhere and slay everyone. Look at them. The sword masters have no chance. The peasantry fights for Bohemond. The king of the wood and the duke of Bretonia. I will not betray the king. I do hope in the future they add in more elements where you're just not trying to conquer everything and become the king. Because I do like that a lot about Crusader Kings too. Like maybe I just want to be a duke. Maybe I don't want to be the king. Maybe I just want to chill out. Not be a duke. Being a duke can be hard, man. <laughs> all right. Buff them all up. Very good. They're skilled again. Let's go out. Come on, let's go. Get out, you two. Go Seeker, come on. 30 kills for you. If I get you out. Yeah, there we go. We'll go after that Mage of Life. Warden, come over here. Go after more Sword Masters. There's 25 left. You two are doing quite well, destroying all of the Lothern Sea Guard. I can bring in more infantry if I truly want to. I suppose I will. You two come over here now. Let's go. We've got more magic to use if we so choose to. Go hill up my Knights of the Horn. Their horns are actually developed from Manticore. Something rathers. They had a backstory somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Let's boost up your damage. Good work. Let me go over here. We weren't able to begin my own campaign this weekend, but I am discussing with my friend who runs the other campaign how we're going to tie in our plots. He wanted to do it, and I'm very happy to see that it's like he's really into narratives and storytelling as much as I am. He's been DMing for a long time and playing a lot of tabletop for a very long time, so he's kind of been my teacher in this and all that and stuff like that. We have kind of different methods in how we prepare for campaigns, but that's a normal thing. You just find what you're comfortable with and what's fun for your players and all that, and what's fun for you. What is Important for the DM to have fun. Can't just be the players. All right, let's go and get her again. Use some more magic again. Overcast because it's so good. Knights of the Horn. Oh, no wonder you're down here. I was wondering what was going on. Try to get away. Try to get away. I'm gonna try to give you some armor. Get a few of you out of there. Cause I know you don't have a lot of armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the Duke down here. Go to the Prince. Screw the Prince. Go after the prince, come on. And then you four come over here. Go after these Lothan Sea Guardsmen. There's 12 of you over here. I just, I'm trying to get you out. I'm trying to help you, okay? Come on. Grell, come over here. Archers, come on up. Be kind of waiting. Let's just go. It's kind of hard to break through. Oh, crap. You just took a lot. What hit you so hard? Something hit you really, really hard. I don't know what it was. Come over here. Kill the gate guard. Use more magic to heal them then. That'll heal nearby units too. It's a great thing to use. Heals nearby units. Yeah. How many have you killed? Over 200. They're very good at that. Do you keep on killing? Down here, we'll keep on killing too. If they want to come after me like that, feel free. You're fighting Duke Bohemond. The guy. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely. He's like, you know what? Let's just look at him. All right. Are we not done conquering? Up? We're not. Well, then come over here and help out. I'm just trying to heal you up. Oh, there's probably a hard cap that you're by. Yeah, it's more than likely the case then. Okay, let's get you over here. Let's try to go after the prince too. We can kill the prince. Here it comes now. Right into the middle of it all. He's already cut down another one. Drenched in blood, the warden charges in. Let's go look up here. We have established many legacies and many good characters. I will say the, the stories that I point out the most are the ones who follow lore. If it, they don't really follow lore, then I'm not going to really talk about them too much. But 
our best writer by far, I think, is probably Nathaniel. He does a great job. He's the one who wrote the most popular character for our previous campaign and all that. And yeah, I mean, good to have creative freedom and all that, but we are in a more structured and themed world. But I, we do have a lot of very good writers as a whole, not just Nathaniel. Got a lot of them. Got a lot of good guys. Very proud of them all. Been a lot of fun for me to read their stories and kind of go over that. I'm trying to think of a way of how I'm going to, like, when I do unleash my site and launch it all, how I'm going to, like, really incorporate that in. Because I would need to potentially edit things myself and be an editor, so I need to find out how I can do that without hindering my own projects and all that. To let you know, if you don't know, I'm going to be working on a website for my... I don't know if it'll be for my channel. It probably won't be. It'll be for D&D, &D, and then maybe some, like, lore stuff and history stuff where I talk about things and all of that. All right, they're done for. We've already beaten too many of them. They've got artillery back here, but so what? I'm just going to go after them directly. Let's go, Warden. You and me. We're stronger than everyone here. So much stronger. It's actually funny. It's comical how much better we are than these guys. Yeah, we've beaten so many away. I'm just letting a few units take the shots. Probably shouldn't be doing that. But if they didn't take the shots, others would be. So might as well be my archers. They are peasants too, so... Don't really care as much. All right, let's go over here. Oh, now you're getting a lot more kills, probably because you're hitting archers. Anyway, Jill's Revenge. Let's go over here after. Who are they? Silver Helms. Yeah, go get them. Knights of the Horn come over here. I've got all my knights. Do I have the gate under my control now? I do. So let's get these guys over here. De la Chess. Good work. E4. Let's go charge in. If you want to charge in, go charge in now. This is your chance. Oh, are they trying to hurt you? That's cute. Good luck. The Duke is so much better than everyone around here. There's just little bits of elf everywhere. Oh, no. It's too much for them. They cannot do it. Okay. Let's keep on looking. We'll head over here and go after more of them. We are not done yet. I can let her go heal up the Duke. That's true. Yeah, go heal the Duke. Oh, he'll love that. We've already beaten the Silver Helms. The Silver Helms are mighty, too. And look at that. They can't even beat him. Okay. So, all of my knights get in here. All of you get in here. If there are things for you to kill, go kill them now. Here comes my peasantry. Killing a bunch of high elves. That's got to feel pretty good. Oh, look at my knights moving in. It looks so good. You can see how they're gleaming. You can imagine being a peasant and seeing that. You are just in awe. Stricken by such majesty and might. Anyone touched by a god or goddess certainly earned that honor and right. All right. We lost over 300. They lost everything. The city now belongs to me. My infantry, again, only there to be fodder. It's not like in my green skin campaign where everyone kind of has more of a use in here. Fodder. They just allow my knights to do what they need to do. I wasn't able to use my land knights. My flying knights have just been so much better for these roles of taking walls all the time. We are fighting. Fighting. Wow, that's a word. English. Anyway, we are fighting a fortress island. Therein lies a challenge, one that we must overcome. And to overcome, we shall use flying knights for that purpose. Let's occupy that city now of Tor Koruali. Those two are now dead, and I own a new city. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Okay, two points for you, dear Duke. Whatever are we going to give you? Well, first off, I want the vigor loss to go down for the entire army. Then again, it doesn't really impact anyone but my peasants. My girl knight should be fine. My heart is cool. Okay, let's see. Let me keep on looking real quick. What do I want? More armor? I don't actually have a lot of armor, I guess. That's true. Give you more armor. You do have a pretty good ward save. Yeah. There's nothing for me to really change for you. Yeah. Didn't lose anyone. Absolutely. Very good. Let me go look at who we have. 
I nearly want to start recording and then like cutting out the loading screens or like the load time just so we can get straight to gameplay. That'd be kind of neat. So I get tired of it times too. Not just you guys. Got an SSD, but I can't even imagine not playing with an SSD. That would be awful. Right, right. We've got a lot of terrible stuff that we're trying to rebuild on. Things were pretty bad. So we, like we left on a very grim note. Things were pretty brutal for us all. Come on down here. You'll be ready in a turn. Probably recruit more if I didn't build that. Yeah, let's go ahead and go back down and kind of fix it up. That'll have to wait. I've got some money. I want to use more of it. Okay, so you've got two of the flying knights. Cool, cool, cool. What can you afford, my friend? You are level 10. You can get a questing vow. So questing knights, you can't get anything really that powerful. You can get some Pegasus knights. I mean, that would be good. Let me look at it real quick. What do you need? You got two groups of knights. Knights of the Flame, Thagans Crusaders. Okay. We never used enough knights of the realm, I guess, but. Girl Guardians are very good, of course. Knights Errant. Could get a lot of them. They're amph I mean, they are anti infantry. That is true. I think I might get a lot more knights for him than I usually use. Yeah, we're going to use some more knights than we normally utilize. A new commandment over here. Let's go ahead and give them more control and untainted. I don't really have taint, but control is always a need. Let's end our turn now. We have spoken about a lot of lords. The only thing like really left is to talk about more details when it comes to the various dukedoms. If people really want me to do that, then I will. Otherwise, we will just focus on the gameplay from now on. I've covered a lot of lords where if you wanted to make a character, you can. So, yeah. I should be able to play the Tomb King soon. I don't know what limitations I'll have, so I don't know what I'll be able to show off until I see it. And um, then we'll have Tomb Kings. We'll be able to kind of go over that. I'm going to learn the actual mechanics of these units pretty well before I show anything. I don't really like to rush things out. There was like once upon a time where I was like, okay, I'll just play. Now I'm like, no, I'm going to prepare. I'm going to know what I'm doing. Oh, God, Kromsen. Ah, they're getting angry with me. Well, calm down, buddy. You're the one who breaks trees with, with me a lot. I'm not the one doing it. Yeah, there's also a fix for the unlocker in Still Faith that's been put out by Venris, who's a developer for Still Faith and all that. So that's pretty cool. Good idea as well. Yeah, we're actually going to say no. Just because Beastmen have already killed too many things. Yeah, I, I think myself and other people did talk to them about how there were just way too many freaking Beastmen. They were killing everything and everyone. Oh, how dare you? She'll be back in two turns. Okay. Okay, you're still healing up. You're ready. Cassion is now ready. A lot of infantry. I don't really use archers as much. I used to use them a lot more, I think, in, um, what's it called? The vanilla game. I don't really use as many now, so we're going to the Shrine of Cain. We're probably going to burn down what's up here. I don't know if I want any of it. It's going to be too hard for me to hold. Way too hard. The gate, I can take. Oh, Tyrion's back. Damn it. I hate you. I hope you know that. <laughs> he might be able to reach me. I don't actually know. He's level 17. I would rather cast you on go fight him. He's got a lot of lore masters. He'll be ready in three turns. You're still doing your thing. You're not really coming from down here. Not yet. Okay, so we're trying to get a new army. Let me go to get some new stuff going for you. Not enough room? Okay. A much more mounted force. You know what? No archers. No more archers. We're just going to do infantry. A lot of infantry. Again, he was meant to be like my more foreign force. We could just use a lot of Knights of Ortigo. Kind of like bounce it out, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. I will indulge. We could do that for sure. Some Knights of the Flame. I don't have Squires of the Flame, though. Could get one of each. Against Crusaders. Yeah, we're going to have that going on. Well, I want to be ready in one turn, so that's true. Mm -hmm. I'll take two of them. One more turn will be ready. Let's get rid of you for now, Jules. Not a bad guy. Or do you have what I need? Nope, you do not. I think I got him like via Confederation or something. Another Paladin. Not over here. Beast Spitter. That's a pretty cool name. Are you sure? Because I thought I had him at like level four. What happened with that? That's lame. Jean, can we be spitter? Yeah, yeah. All right. I think we have mostly of what we need. Let me go ahead and look around over here to Moussillon. 
we see on soon find the Faye. I'm gonna let her just kind of chill where she's at right now. I don't think I really need to move her too much. I mean, I have the money, I guess. I don't really need to recruit too many more, so we can go down to Kofar. Yeah, we can go complete the entire province. Let's go do that real quick. There's gonna be some uh, issues. Yeah, there's no beastman down here for me to worry about. It's just her <laughs> rebuilding the entire area. We're gonna rebuild things over in the image of the lady. Okay, it's more growth. Apothecary. Apothecary here. Let me go and look over here now. Leoness. Okay, Musion, you shall finally be happy. And now we can end our turn again. Happy days. Yep, we're still conquering and fighting over the same bit of land over in Othawan, but that will indeed change once I break their back a little bit more. Once I really begin to break through a few locations, and maybe take a few gates. The gates are great to have. And it looks like they're all confederating and growing. Maybe a thing that would like help out is like not allowing confederation until like turn 100, then allowing it. That way, you can have some weird things go on, but I'm not sure if like lesser factions can confederate with like bigger factions. I don't think that can be done. Yeah, way too many beastmen. There's a lot of them left. The Man Blight tribe. And like, I really wouldn't mind too much, but I'm trying to get to the New World. It's very difficult as an Old World faction to get to the New World. The New World guys don't really have as many major players to fight. Playing Toon Kings will be fun. Anyway. Shoot. Oh my god. Where did he come from? They have so many armies up here. Alright, well, they're gonna make me work for it, it looks like. You've already killed so m Oh my god, you nearly wiped out all of my royal hippogriff knights. That's insane. Alright, you know what? We'll be back. We're gonna come back. If you wanna have a big army, I'm gonna have a big army too. Because screw you. Yep, I said it. Let's move up a little bit. Form that up. He'll be ready in a few turns. I'm gonna let the Duke go fight Tyrion or someone. We'll go get, I mean, we will go get him. It won't be an issue in that regard. Okay. Oh, yes. Justice Sheer, let's go to get you over here. Woundmaker, can't believe you're still alive. Good for you. Not mad about it. Just very shocked about it. Oh. Hmm. All right, you're going to be like all the Knights of Ortigo. Let me look at what else I want for you. Got a lot of Knights, indeed. I can give you a Grail Relic. No. Got a lot of knights errant, which is cool. Got some flying knights. More squares of the flame would be neat, I guess. If the lady will yeah. Let's just charge in and go wild with it. Get crazy with it, man. We'll all start flying in, killing a bunch of beasts to men. Ketterberg took a lot of damage. Alright, let me go ahead and upgrade that real quick. And over here, that too. The Fae, she's doing her thing. Let me go to her real quick. My magic is yours. Do you have the money to rebuild that? I don't know. I do. Okay, it's all done. We've got the Coast of Araby now. It'll be another dock. Yeah, that's going to make me a lot of money if I especially begin to kind of move down here. So now we've got a few locations. If I move over here to... Oh, the Black Tower of Archon is still going. All burned down. That's a shame. I wanted to fight them all. I know that's a lot of corruption. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the Federate Lady Commandment. We can get rid of a lot more corruption like that. Skaven corruption is going up, so we might have Skaven nearby. She might end up fighting Skaven alone. That would be awful. She does not have the proper armor for that. Yeah, so we're still trying to hunt down some beastmen armies. We greatly hindered them and weakened them. They did kill one of our lords and a Paladin, the Silent Knight. And Othwan is largely unified, so they're going to be much stronger. They're going to be much tougher. They might. They better not be moving everything all together. Oh my god. They have so many more heroes than like any other faction. I remember one guy on my Discord server talking about how he was just kind of done with his campaign. He was just being hindered by agents nonstop. That can actually be fairly annoying. Because there's not really much that you can do about it. You had an easier time kind of countering that over in Shogun 2 when you could have like a master ninja killing things. But it's definitely a little bit more difficult in how they have it now. Of course, like the risk of losing an agent over and um, Shogun 2 is much higher. Okay. Still technology. Leon is not back. Good. We need it, Leon to come back. They keep blocking me. They're making my life a living hell right now. My deeds are legend. None shall see me. Okay, we got her. 
Good. Servant won't bother her as much or have a... Or will follow her so that enemy agents will not be able to bother her as much. There we go. Take your armor. Can we get any of these? I'm going to have to like focus the turn on trying to get rid of these fools. Let me try to find out if I have any agents who can actually do that. I don't know if I have anyone who can target these agents and do well. Shoot. They're way too good. Level 29. Dear God. Oh, no. That's tough. All right. Let's go over here and pick up another pox shelter. That's more replenishment, which we evidently do need here. So we're going to take that. Ready one more turn. The Duke is still moving up. He's going to keep on moving up. Eventually, we'll have too many armies that they can't block all of us. They might have another army coming from down here. Or maybe they'll focus everyone up here. Gilgalian's still alive. Really? I thought I killed you. Maybe not. All right. Let's go look at him real quick. Let's go, buddy. Oh, no. The Border Princess took over Grumberg and Altdorf. Oh, you animals. Gashnag! I'm angered. Well... If I can't find a beastman, it might be time to bring that army over to the west. I don't know how that's going to do against all the elves, but... We could have them besiege things. That might be interesting. Trebuchets haven't been very effective in still faith, so I'm not going to recruit more of those. I might just kind of build towers and have them go and do their thing. Okay. Skill points. Faye. Take that. And questing Val. Did I give you a lot of experience? Jeez. Good for you. You can see my little coastline. It's going to take me a very long time to actually develop it if I'm able to. See, that might be part of the issue, too, is that I'm not seeing a lot of, like, the old world factions coming over here. Oh, good. The king will be joining me now. Lothran is now fighting the king. The king probably makes a little bit more. Yeah, if I had his lands, man, I would make a lot of money. I would be able to have all these ports. That's a lot of ports. That's a lot of income that I do not have right now. But I kind of like our division. I do get Musion to connect some trade ports for me. Not my ideal location, but I'll take it. But yeah, hopefully now when you guys look at the overall kingdom, you can see that there's so much more to Bretonia than meets the eye. There's so much lore for them. Lorenzo. Right, you're alive. Good for you, friendo. All right, she's over here. Can't do it right now. Come join the Marquis. The Duke is still moving up. He's able to move further than everyone. He's got so many abilities and things like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, level 19. I'm going to give you... I'm going to go look at it. Wound. Yeah, try that. I'm going to start having him bounce out to go wound these agents. Just so I can get a break. Shoot. I've got to be careful, though. They could wound themselves. All right, so we're still going to wait here for a little bit. Oh, yeah, you need to form up and heal up. There you go. Now, Chilfroy's ready. Look at that. I've got a four armies now. We're all gathering up, getting ready for this great war. I build that. Well, could use more money, too. Very true. It's more of a growth and trade good. Oh, what? Shrine of the Lady. Oh, that's a new building. Right, right. I forgot he added new buildings, so we now have a Shrine of the Lady. Untainted plus one region wide. Oh, that's really cool. Local armies in a province, more income. Nice. Presents can come here for praise. <laughs> okay, I'll let them know about the little typo somewhere. All right. A grill relic. Neat. Okay, there we go. I'm over here for that. So, got some pretty cool stuff to build that we can just kind of add in. Can you only build it in like a capital location? Maybe that, that could be it. I'll have to check it out later. Anyway, it's a lot of money. Nice. Region wide, province wide. Region wide would just be in like entire region. The entire province, of course, being the, all of them. This like here, land of assassins, province, La Chic, region. Okay, where am I going to go now? Martech, I could go over here. Eye to Panther. Let's get all the mountains. It's Vulture Mountain. Yeah, that would be like all through the mountains, huh? Yeah. We're slowly getting this location in order. It's taking a very long time. What's with the very high corruption here? What's going on, man? Let me look at it. Yeah. Chaos is in here. We can look at it real quick. 
Okay, it's going down, but still. Jeez. I have the Coast of Araby, but that's going to be such a challenge to even hold. Got a big chunk of land. We own so much up here, too. We own a lot. And we own, of course, the eastern part of uh, both the one. All right, he's not moved. Emmerich, yeah. Let's move him up a little bit. We'll do that. Wait, where's Leon? I thought I put you in... Oh, I, right, I took Floor de Luna out. My bad. <laughs> My bad. All right, buddy, let's give you full plate armor. Lady Joanne, Earth Blood, and Life Bloom for Leonard, who does not have a name and backstory yet, but he will. Right, hold on. There was like a little event that I saw. He's over here somewhere. All right, Leonard, let's go. You're going to Musion, then I'm probably going to have you move down over here to probably go after Elisaeli, whatever it's called. Adam Madeline Dubois, I'm going to give you Wound. I have that, my dear lady, and now we can end our turn. As we get ready for another battle. We're all just kind of like rallying up, getting our armies in order. I feel like they have another army coming after me somewhere. I just don't know where. I don't know when the king will move in. The king will probably take over a few locations. He could have what's up here. I don't want it. Cool. Blessed. It's very hard now for enemy agents to get me. There are gods who smile upon the chancers, gamblers, and risk takers of the world. This one is blessed by them. Yeah, boy. We did it. Phoenix Gate will be fun to have. Looks like they're pulling back, so I'm probably going to have the Duke go after Phoenix Gate. Or Cassiole. And the Duke. Another army. Hold on. Hold on here. Would you hurry up? <laughs> Get out of here, Agent. Good, he's fortunate too. The more they fail, the better off we are. So I guess like it kind of tells you to don't spam... Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, she's insane. That'll change once there's like less corruption here. Let me try to find some stuff to help. Nope, I don't have a lot of stuff with that. That'll change later. Crap. Troll will go down for a little bit. I'm gonna build it up so we can build more stuff down here. Let's go and build tap room. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here and instead build a girl shrine. Much better. Untainted region wide. Oh, yeah, we need that. <laughs> Anything that we can get to reduce overall corruption. When we build one in like every location, I think we'll be better off for sure. Won't take us long. Once we get like a good foundation out there, it won't be nearly as hard to hold any particular location, thankfully. I don't really need this Not anymore. Nope, get rid of that. Okay, build that for now. Won't be able to really improve until later, but it's okay. All right, where's my agent at? Let me go. Is Faye. That's Flo de Lune. Come over here. Join the Marquis. The Marquis will now move over to the Shrine of Cain. No one's trying to ambush me. Goodbye, fools. We get to burn it down. That's one gone. Oh, I don't even want Tor and Luck. I'm just here to burn crap down, man. Alright, Bohemond, let's get you down here. You're nearly there. They've got a lot of armies close by. Yeah, they moved right behind the gate. Cassian will come join you if he's able to. Yeah, he should be able to reach. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to let over here Chilfroy move over to the west. We'll try to get her. Who's blocked now, fool? If we can actually get all these gates, we can really enclose on them. I'm going to have one more army move over here to the west. And it's going to settle up over down here. Yeah, in Tor Everest. So he'll be out here doing that stuff. No, we're just going to ignore that treasure. Just get over here. Just so he's able to move and help me out finally. Curse of Araby. Still not taxing it. Not yet. Yeah, fine. Build that. All right, it's in a turn. I know there was some beastmen over in Gorsel, but, Gorsel, but eh, whatever. I wonder how the balance of power is calculated, because it doesn't seem like absolutely correct. Not at all. 
Tyrion's over here. Oh my god, it's a lot of armies. Jesus. Uh, oh, a settlement garrison. Yeah, I don't want to fight that openly. We could win, but the cost of it would be absolutely too high. They want to go after Bullamon again. They can, then we'll fight him, but they might have the room. Yep, they do. Oh, they're going to him, actually. Well, that's going to be a lot of damage for me. We'll probably... Yeah, so what we'll do, we're going to go ahead and save it for the next part tomorrow. It's getting a little bit late on into the day. Then we'll see if he's able to win. If not, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, as always, until then.